Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, I'm back with more fun things you can do with Lens.org. So here we are on the Lens.org homepage. I'm going to move over to Scholarly Works. And I'll just search for cystic fibrosis in quotes. We saw in my last video about searching that you'll get better results that way. We'll click search. And here's our list of results. Let's say we wanted to dial it in just a little bit. We can go up here to edit search. And instead of all fields, maybe we choose title, abstract, keyword, or field of study. That should bring it down just a little bit. Let's watch that number change once we click search. And here's our list of results now. We have 80,000 scholarly works and some additional works you can browse through. But what I really wanted to show you today was the analysis. So, of course, you can explore here and you can explore your list of results. But if we come over here to analysis, well, you'll note that there are some visualizations already over here on the right. And this is the kind of information you're going to see when you click on analysis. But there's a lot more. So let's go there. It'll take a minute to load. And here we see visualizations based on the set of data that was part of my search results. So again, we see top institution name, who or what. What are the institutions that are doing the research in cystic fibrosis? And you can explore those and limit to any one of those. So if we clicked on that, we'd see the 1,299 articles from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Over here, we see scholarly works over time. So going back to around the 1950s, 60s, and you can change the color here but it's showing you that the light green is a journal article. You can hover if it's hard to see. But we have books, clinical trials, conference proceedings, even libguides, preprints, news, dissertations, and other. And if you go to the downward facing chevron, you can change the way this chart appears. You can restrict it to certain filtered values. You can even change the color scheme. And if you go to downloads, you can export it as a PNG, SVG, you can even embed it, I believe. Okay, we'll go down here. And the next one is top fields of study. So it's showing you that cystic fibrosis overlaps with other fields like endocrinology, microbiology, lung transplantation, and more. Here we have fields of study covered by the most active institutions. Kind of breaking it apart by subject, but you'll see a lot of duplicate institutions here working in the field. Looks like Boston Children's and the French Institute of Health and Medicine are at the top. And then we'll come down here and see the most active authors. So these are authors who have published in the field of cystic fibrosis and their document count. And again, you can export this visualization. You can change the color scheme. You can add limits. And then we see a scholarly works scatter plot. So what I find helpful about this one is hovering over the dot to find out what the article is, and then you can find out how many citing scholarly works it has. So perhaps of interest if you're looking for some major works in the field. We'll scroll down. Most active countries, they call them jurisdictions. So we have the United States, Canada, Australia, some other countries here doing the work in cystic fibrosis. Next, we see top publishers. No big surprise here at the top. Elsevier, Wiley, Springer Nature. Again, exportable, editable. And the last one we see is top journals by publisher. So if you were a researcher in the field of cystic fibrosis and you were a little bit stuck about where to submit, then maybe this can help you out a little bit. Now, we're not done. If we scroll back up to the top, we see we have a lot of options here. And even I haven't explored them all yet. One thing you can do is add a new chart. So we'll go to add a new chart. And one thing we didn't see here was funders. So maybe we'd like to click on funders and see who are the top funding agencies for cystic fibrosis research. And notice you have other options here. We'll go to top funding agencies and now we get a new chart. So we can see all the national institutes of health and some other funding agencies that fund this research. You can go to presentation mode and we're going to get really nice, larger visualizations of all the charts we've, we've already set up. The table of contents is over here on the left. You can scroll down. So if you were presenting to your department meeting on something, you can kind of go through it this way. And it's very nice. When you're ready, you can exit presentation mode. And just in case you didn't notice, there's a lot more that you can do 
www.lifelens.org. I hope this was helpful to you. We searched in scholarly works, and then we used the analysis tab to use some visualizations about that field of research. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.